Cohen from the Northern California Carpenters, who also used to be on the city council here in San Rafael. Paul Cohen. Good afternoon. Nice to see so many old friends and uh, new. Here to, on behalf of the Northern California Carpenters, we represent 30,000 union carpenters and their families throughout Northern California, including hundreds here in Marin and Sonoma. We strongly support SMART, both for the jobs and for the benefits it will bring to our communities. As Mark Kyle alluded to, carpenters and the rest of us in the building trades have had way too many of our brothers and sisters out of work for far too long. The surest path out of this recession is to put people back to work. The best path out of this recession is to put people to work building a sustainable future. SMART does just that. In the near term, this public investment creates hundreds of good jobs. In the longer term, it helps us provide alternatives to the single occupant automobile by giving people the choice of rail transit and a bikeway linking our communities in the North Bay. I don't have good transit operations between here and my office in Oakland, so I drove to this rally coming across the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. And I always enjoy the view as I've come home to San Rafael looking across the bay from the high point. I got to tell you, today I could not see downtown San Rafael from the peak of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge because of all the material in the air. We are killing ourselves, folks. We have got to give ourselves an alternative to the combustion engine and the single occupant automobile. SMART does that. Back to this uh, economy for a minute. The closest we have in the, our experience in this country, and this is a great country, we've faced tremendous challenges over the years and we've risen to every one. The closest experience we have to what we're going through now is the Great Depression. America would look a lot different if the response then had been to pull back, to be afraid instead of being bold and investing in this country. So, to uh, uh, my friend in the uh, opposition here and to anyone who might think about signing the petition to put this back on the ballot, I say to you simply, these are challenging times, but our response must not be to turn back or to think small. Let's continue to be bold, support smart, create jobs, build a sustainable future for the North Bay. Thank you. All right, thank you, Paul. I mentioned Paul was on the Santa Fe City Council. Also want to acknowledge Greg Brockbank, who was on the Santa Fe City Council for four years. Okay, next up, we have Lisa Maldonado from North Bay Labor Council. Lisa. Thank you. Welcome working class heroes. You guys look beautiful. I'm representing the 75,000 members of the North Bay Labor Council and their families who know what it means to be without work for years. We talk about unemployment and we talk about jobs, but we need to be clear what a tragic situation it is when people can't work, can't feed their kids, and can't pay their bills. In the Labor Council alone, we've had two suicides and countless foreclosures, divorces, and other tragic examples that happen to people when they don't have an income. I'm really glad to be here with our, our um, environmental friends because a lot of times we're not on the same page. And today we are. The reason that SMART is great is not just because it works to help our environment, but it works to help one of the very important pieces of our environment. And I, I have this argument with our environmental friends all the time. Workers are part of the environment. There's nothing that can be called green or sustainable if it doesn't include decent wages, benefits, pensions, and a fair day's work and a fair day's pay for workers. That's the only green for all of us. So thanks all of you for supporting SMART. We are totally on the right track and smarter than ever. And thanks for coming out here today to show that support. I also want to give a shout out to my brother, Bill Scott, with the Marin Building Trades. He knows better than all of us. And we're going to put his folks back to work. In fact, we're going to bring Bill Scott up here to the stage right now. Bill Scott with the Marin Building Trades. Next up, Ray and then Andy. So come on deck up here. Am I next? You're next. Bill's up. Bill Scott, Marin Building Trades. Yay! 
Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see the Viking Coalition, Labor, and the environmentalists all here together. You know, one of the things, everybody's talked about jobs, and that's really what we need right now in this environment, uh, put people back to work, get the economy going again. But, you know, there's other thing that's happened over the, the years. The, you know, back in when the Civic Center was being built, there was a lot of people that said, no, we shouldn't build that. It cost too much. Even 100 years ago when the... The uh, city council, the, the schoolhouse in Novato. Oh, no, that's way too expensive. We can't build that. And even the Buck Center, I remember the big fight uh, that we had about putting the Buck Center and there was going to be a white elephant. All of those things are part of our communities. And, you know, I can't imagine any of them not being around right now. And to me, uh, 101 is not the future. Smart is the future. And... We got to, we got to have a, another way to get up and down 101. Can you imagine 40 years from now? I mean, you build out the 101 in seven years, it completely gets blocked up again. So you got to have another alternative. Smart's the way to go, and that's what the Labor Council is supporting. Thank you. Are you ready to get smart? Yeah. Get smart. 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 Woohoo! All right, next up, Ray Messier, Algamated Transit Union Local 1575. Good to see everybody here today. You know, I heard a lot of good things up here. Um, I am a bus driver. My father was a bus driver, drove for Golden Gate Transit. I know a little bit about transportation. And I'm going to tell you that having more alternatives is nothing but a plus. You know, when I hear people say, Ah, uh, train to nowhere won't do anything. That's not true. The bottom line is, is people need choices. And I heard a lot about jobs today, but the biggest thing I want to hear about is good jobs. Because I see a lot of cruddy jobs out there where people can't even afford to pay their bills. I have five children. They're all adults. Two of them are doing okay and three struggle. Bad jobs. This will bring good jobs. It is the future. It is a good future for us here. And I thank everybody for being here. All right, our final speaker for the afternoon before we wrap up this rally is Andy Perry with the Marin County Bicycle Coalition. Thank you all so much for coming out. I want to talk about vision. This project is a... Vi I got crickets in my pocket here. Visionary pro uh, projects are more often than not bold and creative. This is a bold and creative project that we're moving forward on. For lovers of trains, for lovers of active transportation, this is the ultimate project. The dream that we are seeing come to fruition right now is a dream of interconnected multimodal transportation where bike, ped, rail, transit, and all other modes of transportation come together to a multi into a multimodal system that serves everybody. Uh, there's nothing so sweet when I ride BART is looking out the window and seeing the stop traffic on Highway 80 or riding my bicycle into the Ross Valley and passing 20, 30, 40, 50 cars during commute time. And that's exactly what's going to happen with the smart train. People will have a choice moving up and down the 101 corridor, the 101 freeway, which is not actually so free at all. And in fact, the smart is going to be the free way of moving up and down the corridor. <laughs> SMART will provide livable, walkable communities and help uh, us meet the needs of AB uh, 32 and SB 375, which are required by state law. And the path is a vital part of this transportation system as well. It will link stations, businesses, recreation centers, schools, people's homes, and get people to the station that are moving from the north and the south. It's also going to dramatically expand the bicycle commuting uh, capacity because you throw your bike on the train and you move up and down the system depending on where your work or recreational uh, destination is. Um, this country is in the middle of an obesity epidemic that is getting worse. Having active transportation solutions like the pathway that is part of this system and always has been part of this system is a great solution. We're spending $147 billion with a B on health-related problems associated with obesity. That's expected to go to $344 billion. This is our North Bay solution for health as well. 
Our two counties are fundamentally linked. It's not Marin versus Sonoma. We are one. There's an artificial border in between that we call a governmental border, but we are one unit, and transportation links us, as do uh, social connections, community sec uh, uh, connections, uh, people in their cars honking their horns, um, everything. People, families are split, divided between the communities. So this is a transportation collaboration and part of the transportation transformation for our communities of Marin and Sonoma. Those of us that have poured heart and soul into this project moving forward um, have done it in the face of great challenge. And the vision and the hard work to get smart and hundreds of jobs that are right around the corner. Uh, this is a gift of future generations. This is a gift of uh, current generations. We will continue to persevere. The Marin County Bicycle Coalition will continue to work with you, the union, and SMART, and the board, and the staff to get all of the system up and running. And we will have wise, uh, turn our wise transportation vision into wise transportation reality here in the North Bay. I want to hear you say uh, after me, SMART rocks and SMART is rolling. SMART rocks! SMART, 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 smart is rolling! SMART rocks! Smart is rolling. One more time. Smart rocks. Smart is rolling. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all so much for turning out for the Smart Jobs for the Holidays Rally. You've heard today that Smart is good for health. If you believe it's good for health, let me hear you say yeah. yeah. Smart is good for jobs. Let me hear you say yeah. yeah. Smart is good for the environment. Let me hear you say yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you all very much. Stay with us. We're with you. We'll be riding this train in just a few years. Get smart. At 2.30 today, the SMART board will meet in the public session. There's a closed session beginning at 1.30. For those of you that are going to be around, it would be great to have your presence at the SMART meeting. Let the SMART board know that you're here and let the SMART board know that they have tremendous support out here. Thank you. <laughs>